Hi, I'm Debbie Spees and I'm with the Mount Rushmore Society and we operate the Mount Rushmore self-guided tours at the park. And what the tour is, is a recorded guide that visitors can rent and it takes you to 29 different stops or areas in the park where you can learn about the entire history of Mount Rushmore. You will hear historic recordings from sculptor Gutson Borglum, Lincoln Borglum, information about the workers, um, viewpoints from American Indians, and also hear about the visionaries who wanted to build Mount Rushmore. We have two options in the tour. We have an audio tour wand that just gives the audio, and then we have a multimedia unit which if you rent this for $8, it tells the history, the same thing you would get on the wand, but you also see pictures and you can also see video of like what it actually looked like using dynamite on the mountain. Well, we have 29 stops and so for instance, we are standing at stop three and this stop talks about the avenue of flags how many flags are there, what the significance is of the avenue of flags. There are different areas in the park that are dedicated to, say, President George Washington, why he was chosen to be on Mount Rushmore, and maybe some of the challenges they had in carving that particular figure. You can access the tour right when you come into the park and look to your left, and there is a burgundy awning that says Mount Rushmore Self-Guided Tours, and that's where you can rent either the wand for six dollars or the multimedia unit for eight and I'll also mention that even though this is a walking tour and you can go to 29 different stops it is something that depending on your mobility or interest you can sit on a bench and listen to as much or as little as you want to you don't have to listen to the entire tour and you can listen to the information that's most interesting to you there's even an option to drill down to hear more information so under the stop talking about the workers you can access more information about workers and baseball because there was a baseball team of the workers for Mount Rushmore and my favorite part is that it is offered year-round at Mount Rushmore so right now there are ranger talks that people can go to and um, ask questions and find out more information about the park. The tour is translated in Spanish and German French and Lakota, so it just makes it more accessible to a variety of different people who come to the park. Another bonus of the multimedia unit is that if you rent um, the multimedia one, it has the Junior Ranger Quest game on it, so a child can go around the park and listen to the stops with their parents, but there's also a game that is connected to some of the different areas in the park, and if they complete the game and they take their unit back to a ranger desk, they can become a junior ranger at Mount Rushmore. The Junior Ranger Quest game, even though it's accessible on the multimedia unit, is also available for free download on the Apple Store and Google Play. I guess I would want people to know that in renting the tour, you are helping support the Mount Rushmore Society, which in turn gives money back to the National Park Service. So the self-guided tour itself was created in partnership with the National Park Service back in 2006. And then all of the proceeds that we receive from renting this tour goes back to the National Park Service to provide for seasonal rangers and interns here at the park or replacing the Avenue of Flags and a variety of other projects and programs that the National Park Service needs.